February is heart month, so in today's Cooking with WCCO, we're getting a healthier pizza recipe. Yeah, Chef Laura Bonicelli from Bonicelli Cooking Club joins us this morning. Laura, thanks for being with us. You are most welcome. Good morning. Yeah, so we know this time of year, you know, we often turn to the comfort foods, but we could use a little more vegetable in our diet. I think that everybody always needs more vegetables. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> You've been doing these uh, uh, virtual cooking classes, and you have something called the 28 Day Reset. This recipe is part of that, right? Yes, this is a new recipe from the 28 Day Reset, which is a recorded course in the Bonicelli Cooking Club that's designed to really re engage people with food. Mm -hmm. And um, as we already discussed, everybody needs more vegetables, and cauliflower is a great one. This whole crust is made from a whole cauliflower, and it's low in calories, it's high in fiber and vitamins, and it has the added benefit of being delicious. Great. So how do we do it? Okay, let me get started here. First thing I'm going to do is spray a parchment-covered baking sheet with cooking spray. And this is important because you want to make sure that you can get the pizza off of the parchment. And if you don't do that, you can't. Then I took a whole cauliflower and I cut it into florets and I cut up the stem as well. You can eat the whole thing. And I put it in a food processor and processed it, processed it for about 30 seconds. And I did that in batches. Then I put all of that, and it's like cauliflower rice now, into a, a microwave safe bowl, covered it with plastic wrap, and microwaved it for five minutes. And this is what I wound up with. I put it in a dish towel and pressed out all of the excess liquid. And you don't have to add any water to that because the cauliflower has enough moisture. Mm -hmm. And then this is what it winds up looking like. Great. So just ready to kind of be formed yeah. into a dough, right? Yep, it's, it's practically like mashed potatoes at this yeah. point. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add a half a cup of Asiago cheese. You can use Parmesan if you want to. A tablespoon of basil. So you'll note that I'm actually putting pizza seasoning right into the crust. Mm -hmm. We'll mix that up. Tiny bit of salt, too. About a half a teaspoon. A little bit of freshly ground black pepper. There you go. And then I've got a couple of eggs beaten here. All right, Laura, we only have about 30 seconds left, so I want to make sure we get... Okay, then let me pull out my done one. So you kind of form this after, uh, after you've mixed it all together and baked yes, it. Yes, and right? then this is the crust, and that's what it oh, looks like. Yeah. And on top of that, we're going to put some fresh basil. Looks delicious. Right. So it's really, I mean, you're creating that essentially a dough with cauliflower there. That's exactly it. Okay. And you're spreading it on the pan, pre-baking it, and then putting all these lovely toppings on top. And then a little drizzle of olive oil. I'm telling you what, we've had cauliflower, a bunch of cauliflower crust, and it, it's delicious. It's, it's very good. You know, I think this is better because the ones that you buy manufactured are really pressed and they get kind of cardboard-like. Mm -hmm. But when you make it yourself, it's really fresh and you can really, really taste the cauliflower. Awesome. Right. Laura, thank you. We've got oh, the... here we go. There it is. <laughs> We've got the full recipe for you at WCCO.com. You can learn more about the cooking club as well.